to me the music just seems a little loud just a little excessive just a little bit see if i can't get this my toupee in order uh, there we go um uh today we're going over something we're going over the rest of the dvd so uh we're gonna go after the michael lamar we're gonna finish the michael lamar series uh dvd with performances now they've all been uh there was a time when michael lamar uh shared every single one of these on uh online it was they're all available on youtube uh every almost every single one of them that background noise man is really killing me yeah that background noise is really murdering me right now can you hear that Shh. yeah so it's it's good it's fighting my microphone is fighting because i have I'm, I'm in the ac room so uh let's take a look and see what we got going on the performances uh does anybody in the chat oh and there's nobody here <laughs> corona <laughs> Card magician who spent a lot of times with a deck of cards. Well, so we saw Dunbury Aces. We, I remember that much. I know for a fact that we saw that one. Uh, yeah, he puts it in, does a fancy cut, and uh, let's let's actually watch that again. Card, wasn't it? Uh, black cherry. Yeah, that's not a black cherry. So for, uh, uh, now, this is the card that tells me another very important piece of information. This is the card that tells me the suit of your Watch card. the steel. Your card, a club. your card was a club. Very important piece of information there. This is the card that tells me where your card is. Now, if I count down, just three cards away should be your selection. That's one, two, three cards. For the first time, what was the name of your selection? Oh, that's it. The ten of clubs. Uh, now the assumption was that let's see if I I can't put a mouse on this. Let's make the assumption. Uh, let's go that one, two, three. The third card uh, was uh, suggested to that it was going to be the ten of clubs or the, whatever she picked. But uh. Oh man, my lips are all shiny. I don't like that. Don't stare at that. They, uh, it was a dupe. There's a card right there. And then the aces pop up. And so that's what was, so, it was so nice. That's a nice subtle one. And you could break that one down. And, uh, if you know, you know. Now, if you know, you know. It's a paradox. So, a par oh, I'm going to rewind this one because this one, I actually missed it on the last stream. Your signed card. Hey, play! I hate when it does that. Kind of Your signed card, so brother John Hammond. Here, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. This is a paradox. He set the car down. No, no, it's not a I like I like this it's transposition. A because although I'm setting the card right there in your full vision all along, that card actually cannot be there. I'll explain what I mean. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, look at these cards closely. Exactly hey, what's up, Brian? Welcome to the. Welcome to the. Be. Why are you uh, invisible like on the? Examine this uh, pen here. Make sure. Well, it's, I'm glad you're here. But we went over this last time, and uh, I completely missed the whole trick and the whole performance because I think I was ranting, ranting about something. Dang, what's wrong with this wig, dude? Not my real hair. Everybody knows that's the only card like that in the world. Uh, you know, you might want to pick a small spot card so that your name shows up better, and it won't matter. So we're going over the sign card trick, and uh, so anyone that you want, sign your name on the face of it. That on the face. That's good. yeah, that's the face, stupid. Very good. And I'll take the the marker back. There's something with the marker. Just like, and let's see what card you got there. I'm telling you right now. Very very good. And I'm going to place your signed card. Face down. All right. Out of play. I now, like this. I like this. Is the point. kind of magic I like. Take these four aces and I add them to your sign card. How many aces? Watch what oh. happens. Nothing uh, right away happens. It's still your sign card. But, okay. Uh, the aces do have a magical sort of property. And a magical sort to of rub them the wrong way. Card. See, if I take it and I give it just a little wave like this, it now changes. 
into the ace. Oh, the it's, it's, a, a, it's a it's a spade. Our aces, one, two, three, four aces. Your signed card has completely disappeared. Now you may recall that the paradox. Oh wait, I, I'm not going to touch that card. I said that I wouldn't touch it, so I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use these as little cardboard forceps to deliver something because I said it was a paradox. Dude, card. I like the this reason, trick so much. It's because although it was there all along. It has always been your signed card. Oh. Is that amazing? That is so cool. This is my favorite one. It's so so subtle. I like it. All right. Let's go to the next. Thank next. You very much. Let's go to the next one. Hey, you're welcome very much. Yeah, I'm live. What's up? Yeah, your hair's a mess, dude. What's up? Huh? Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, can have someone turn off that heater because I'm dying in here. The switch is really good. We, I, hey, 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 how much did I fast forward this trick? Jeez Louise, was that the whole ambitious card trick? Now I got to rewind it. That's what I get for being distracted. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've seen this one already. I don't, I'm not. They behave differently. In this case, the three of spades turns face down. I'll Did we show this one on the last one? That switch, dude. The switch. The subtlety of the switch, bro. We're watching. But I want to get rid of one more card. This time, there should be no problem. All we've got are the four and the five. It'll be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Let me see those cards. Nah, I don't. There'd be a jerk in there somewhere. Just like this. Still, it comes back to the top. Now, we're still not any closer to figuring out. So I thought, surely, with only one card, I don't even have a bottom or a middle. Surely I'll see it come back to the top. The funny thing is, the joke's on me. It's already back on top, and I still don't know how it happened. <laughs> uh, look at look at his face. Uh, this guy, for all the years that he's gone to the Magic Castle or wherever they're performing this, uh, he's he's always shocked. Hey, hey, what's up, I'm on. Volume four of Easy to Master Card Miracles. Hi. I'm honored to be your host. As we look at the here. finest creations in card magic of all time. We've taken great care to present uh -huh. this information as clearly as possible. All right. This includes printed outlines for each effect inside the box, making these classics easier to master. All right, all right, all right. Enough talk. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next one. Oh, these are the tutorials. I don't want to teach you guys this stuff. I can still remember the stir that Brother John Hammond created uh, with your signed card back in the late 70s. Uh, hey, I need a vote from you guys. Do you guys want to see the tutorial for this? I feel kind of bad doing this tutorial. You guys want to do a tutorial on this one? Oh, man, let's do it. A, a ripple went through the magic field. Uh, it went through. The, oh, wait, 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 wait. He's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's listen to the story. Let's listen to the story. Uh, it, a, a ripple went through the magic field uh, I bet. talking about this particular effect. Uh, and I recommend that you read his original version of this because at every point, Brother John had a very uh, specific uh, way of going about each of the techniques. And we've kind of modified some of those. Uh, so I think that you'd find his original handing really enlightening. I like to follow it after a four wow. ace effect so that I can gather up those four aces. I keep uh, a red ace on the top and a red ace on the bottom. And as I square those up, I actually end up dropping one ace on top of the deck, one of those red aces. All right. And I turn the packets over, uh, allowing just a little bit of time to cover the discrepancy between that ace being on the face and, and now a black one. And now I set those aces just slightly uh, uh, apart over here, face up. Okay. Now I go through the cards, and I say, I'm going to find a paradox card. And I go down, and I take out the one red ace that I left back on top of the deck. Without showing that card, I go ahead and place that card face down over here. All right. You want to really emphasize the fact that this card's going to be isolated and that you're not going to touch that card. And in fact, keep an eye out to make sure that your hands never really come close to that card to touch it with your fingers. Got it. Because that's going to be built into the final switch. Now, have the spectator. You know, I do want to say, I, this is a very uh, difficult thing to show because I feel like I'm going to get a copyright claim.
I feel like I'm going to get a copyright claim off this one. If not a strike. I, I, I might get a strike off of this one. Uh, sign their name on any uh, card that they want. Uh, let's uh, let's take the uh, three of clubs here and use that as a spectator's right. card. Their name will be signed across the face of it. Now I'm. So let's 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 get let's get over this real quick. Let's go over this real quick. Uh, an ace. Two more aces. Did he say the two aces? Uh, oh, two. Two red outside. So this is what he had. Oh, focus on this. On this. Focus on this camera. Is this camera stupid? I mean, come on in. Okay. So, so these are the aces, right? And that's how you're supposed to have them. Two black in the middle and two red on the outside. That Nintendo Switch battery sucks. And uh, I think he said have them squared up and then uh, you take three. Then you only have three and you set those down. There, try to cover the discrepancy. Put them down. This red one is in there and you just shuffle it. Doesn't matter if it gets lost in there because you're going to pretend like, oh, we're going to go with a card that's like no other. There's a specialty. So there you go. That's what that's what's going on so far. I can't I can't do the trick. I gotta practice. I gotta practice more. I gotta I gotta satchel sweet hairs to practice more on this move. These aces and show them as still being four aces. Now it wouldn't really do to uh, have that red ace on the face since it'll be staring at them all the time and then they'll see that red ace uh, twice. That same red ace in this case, the ace of diamonds. That's the reason we leave a black ace uh, on the face here. Now, as I go oh, that makes sense. up, I just thumb off the bottom card so that they see that red ace, and I come and I drop it back onto the top because now I'm going to do an Elmsley count to show that these three aces are actually... All right. You're going to have to look up how to do Elmsley count. We're not doing a tutorial on it, but I know he's going to try to break down the Elmsley count. ...cards uh, from the faces. Now, I hold that uh, for the Elmsley count in my left hand. There's All right. a variety of ways of doing the Elmsley count. I'll just show you the way that I uh, prefer. My Look at the grip. pushes up one card as, my le as it pulls it off. Now, my right hand pushes off one that would normally be a double in an Elmsley count. And as the left hand comes back, it leaves the Ace of Diamonds as it the oh. second Ace. And that might See, the subtlety in this. The subtlety. This is in the normal Elmsley count, saying two, three, and four. Notice the right hand stays still. So would you uh, say this is a modified count, Elmsley so count? Like in the natural rhythm of counting the cards. That's beautiful. So you've just shown four aces, which have been face up in their uh, side entirety. Times, yeah. And now you drop it onto their signed card. And as you pick it up, you flash their signature one more time. Now you're going to do uh, another Elmsley-like count. Not really an Elmsley, because all you're going to do is still back that first card that you're counting. Because you're going to displace that signature. So you say these four aces as you say one. Now as you come back, just leave it as you say two, taking the next top card. Three. Oh. Hey, konnichiwa. Card. What's oh, up, brother? Actually, so we're going over the uh, uh, your signed card. Uh, if, unless you missed the beginning of it. Uh, I think on YouTube you're able to rewind a little bit and then catch up to us. But it's going to deal with uh, four aces and then a spectator signed card. And what happens is... Um, yeah, just rewind it. I don't know how to... I can't really explain it again. But... Uh, Let's see, he's going to have the four aces and then this uh, orientation. Uh, what's it? Uh, red, black, black, red. And then he's going to ditch one of the cards to be on the top of the deck. He's going to set these down. And then he's going to do a shuffle. Because it doesn't matter. Because when you say, I got to find a special card, it's going to be this one. Set it to the side. And then um, you can go ahead and put the pack of cards back down. 
And then he says you're gonna have to do this uh elmsley count i can't let's see if i can do it like this uh one two three four right so oh shit hold on <laughs> one two three four i i hope that caught that so he taught that you have you push up the top the top card or you move it up with your with your thumb and your index finger and you have this one here and then you slide this up and this one gets stuck back here one two i mean that's three four to give the illusion of four now he's uh talking about counting five cards oh uh i'm gonna guys i don't know if that's that can't be korean is it is that korean i need y'all sale come on come on and then you're gonna take the three aces and a, and a, and their actual signed card. You're gonna do a count to make it look like it's five. That's what he just taught. Signed card is now over here on top because of that displacement. The displacement. You're now holding an ace, which they think to be their card. Now, you make the magic happen, and you show that you've got just an ace. Ooh. The red on the left hand shows the face of an ace over here. <laughs> now, you drop the right, the left thumbs off. So a three for four, and then a four for a five. Yes. So the first one is going to be counting the three aces to make it look like there's four aces. When you get their signed card, you're going to do four aces when there's only three, and count it to make it look like there's four aces and their signed card. So, uh, and then with the the count that he does, the signed card ends up being on top. No, wait, what did he say? Hold on. Brian. I got now I gotta rewind it. I hate rewinding. Top oh, here we go. That displacement. Because of the displacement, yeah, the card's back on top. Ace, but they think the last counted card, card they think is gonna be that one. And this is when you make the magic happen. Like, oh my my and card's gone, bro. The left hand shows the face of an ace over here. Right. Now as you drop the right. The left thumbs off its top. This uh. is, um, you know, uh, a wonderful move that uh, covers the fact. Oh, I heard about this. Um, it's kind of like the idea that, like, they see that this is the top card, and then on the flip, you you're gonna switch the cards, and the top card goes down. I can't remember what that's called, but I I've seen that method done on a couple tricks, and it's very deceptive. Like if you look at Pickcake's um, uh, vanishing uh, faces on the Kopecks, where all the faces are blank, uh, when he does the count, he goes like this, uh, and then he turns it around. I forget how he does it, but when he turns it, okay, so he goes like this, and he turns it upside down, and then he turns it like this, and then he goes like this, and he's showing the same thing. So it's funny. It's like a mental screw job it's like the uh, montreal screw job hard face was never seen now push the left uh the left pushes the bottom card and over then he's the gonna throw him like this another race he loves then doing another this race thing. and you drop it all they've seen are the four aces uh, i'll show you that in the natural rhythm of performing again there's the selection on the bottom you say the four aces not yet. Cause something amazing to happen to your assigned card. See, if I give it a snap just like that. You see, now all I have are the aces. The aces. That is so clever. Your signed that is card so clever. I'm going to say that's the most clever thing. Nothing but the aces here. Now, Brother John had an interesting, uh, again, as with all of these techniques, Brother John had a real interesting approach to all of these. The top two will be aces. You can kind of turn those over, jogged a little bit. He acts as if he certainly wanted to show you all four, but just make sure that these two are lined up. That's going to be okay. the signed. Yeah, bro, that subtlety is subtle, bro. And I, it's very, I don't know. I mean, to comment on that move, and I have a difficult time remembering everybody's names and names of moves. I just know how to do them, right? Uh, 
That subtlety is so subtle. It's artistic. That's so gay to say it like that. I mean, no, let me take that back. Don't say that word. It's so unorthodox. No, 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 no. I don't know. It's just so simple. I like it. There's so, such a subtle, such a beautiful art to that. And it, it's, I don't know. It's one of those things where like if, if someone is uh, selling a product online and they were to sell it for $30 and then you find out it's the Orlam subtlety, that's, that's how, how, how deceptive is it? It, it could be. It is sublime. It, it, that is a good word. That is the most sublime-ish uh, move. It, it really is. Especially that subtlety. Dude, the brain has so much it's working on right now. It is, uh, his mind is directed into something where it needs to figure out what just happened. Like, what the hell just happened? That, that, that subtlety. This isn't the ace, but when you're holding them like this, and then you can square them up and just show, and they don't even realize there's another card behind it. It's not even, I don't know. It's really good. That one, that subtlety is good too. I'm going to pick up this card over here, but then realize, no, I said that I wouldn't even touch that card. And now you're going to subtly switch their card for the ace. This is, is what I want to see. You take the bottom ace and you scoop up the, the paradox card and then immediately turn over the bottom ace. Oh my right gosh. Hand, the left hand turns over the other bottom ace. Did you see that? That's pretty. And then offer the spectator the paradox card, which proves to be oh. their signed card. Okay. This is something that's called super practice. All he's just going to do is the performance at a pace that's all ram. Isn't it? I'm going to look that up because I have to remember these names from now on. I really do. It's so important uh, because sometimes Brian isn't always here and Brian helps me out. I'm very thankful for you being here, man, because I would have been going through this whole stream. What is it called? All Ram? All, all, um, actually, I wouldn't even have said the name. I would have just said the, that it, I would have just kept going over subtlety, subtlety, subtlety. But thank you so much for that. I really appreciated that, man. Now watch this performance. Watch. Ditches an eight. Oh, come on. Amar. What do they for asses? Okay. You give him a shuffle. I'm going to pretend I'm going to find a very special card. Okay, we're going to use this one. Don't look at it because it means a lot to me. What I want you to do is pick a card. Sign it. All right, all right, all right. Do me a favor, do me a favor. Go ahead and um uh let me pick these cards up. Or right, one, two, three, four. Wait a minute, there's only three. Ah uh, let me see your signed card. I'm gonna put it right here. Now the signed card. Sorry, I don't mean to scream at you guys, but the signed card is on the bottom. Now watch this count and pay attention after the count where the speculated card is going to be. La 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 Oh, and then here's the subtlety. Bam, baby. Put them down. Show this card and this card. Bam. Where did it go? Remember I promised I wasn't going to touch that card. But look at this. Two aces. I mean, four aces. Oh, I said I wasn't going to touch this. He just, just touched it, dude. Okay, 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 okay. The sign card is technically on top. Right this very second. The bottom card is going to come up to the top. Okay? I, in my opinion, I call that a page turner. So he just turned the page from the bottom. 
And I, I started call, I started using that term because of the Gemini twins trick where you have the story with the king, queen, and uh, the two kings and the two queens, and then there's a jack involved. I don't remember the, I don't remember the way the story goes. And then the bottom, you just turn it around. And the subtlety is phenomenal. Larry Jenny's. Brother Hammond, that was so great. Um, let's see. Uh, we saw the Ambitious Classic. Which one's this one? No, there is a very well-known card magician who is an acknowledged mathematical genius. Now, believe it or not, this guy, and this is... I never heard of that. Literature, he was given a grant to study patterns of randomness only using a deck of cards and the cards that, and, and how often they need to be shuffled, the most ideal way to shuffle them in order to achieve true randomness. Uh, let's see, uh, perhaps you'd do me a favor here and uh, give those cards a, a thorough shuffling for me, if you would, please. Fail. Very good. Uh, this seems to be the. the you can tell he's a pro. Oh. Way, you can tell. Uh, you know, the, he's a pro. The small package dropping some around. That's. I got I'm inverted. Uh, is is the confirmed best way to get a truly. I don't know. You know what? I was thinking about this, uh, uh, Brian. I don't know how to rip DVDs, and I don't have a DVD drive on this PC. So I think what I can do is, uh, pretty much record it on OBS using the uh, capture card dude capture card was 14 bucks look at this so i think i could capture the whole dvd on a capture card have it on my on my d on my desktop and then i could upload it to um what's it called the media lab no what is it called drive I can download it to the drive. Sorry, it's just cards, uh, here, super fast. You wouldn't mind uh, giving me a quick uh, shuffle on that one. There you go. Very good. Very good. Very good. So now you got to admit that that's got to be a thoroughly random way. Everybody to shuffled to everything. Up. Very what nice. What do? Let's take some of these thoroughly random cards and see just how well we did. Oh. 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 I don't know how he did that. Well, I tell you what, although they, we. Yeah, David, man. David has been at almost everything. So I don't know how he's still astonished, uh, unless there's something new every day that he hasn't seen. I mean, like, true he's a good sport. Uh, let's see if we can progress from here and achieve total randomness. Uh... This is I'm. This is my second favorite trick, and it's just because it's a little drawn out, a little longer than normal card magic is concerned uh let's see now there's a, a variety of cards here take any number of those cards that you would like and i'd like you to place it on top of that ace of clubs right there showing them oh no just any small uh, cut a uh, small packet okay. so that there's no way and we'll just place them right there on top of the ace of clubs kind of cutting it in uh with any number of cards no way to i don't remember this one below no way to know exactly how many you would cut from here over to here so any t any number of cards from there Ooh, cut thin to win. Whoa, yeah, very, cut thin to win very shrewd move on your part now we have uh, another patch of cards there i don't know if you can reach perhaps that you can reach over and put any number of cards from there onto there oh that's a good chunk right, right there so fair i can't stand it now here we're going to put this here now, that's fair that's fairer that's fairer. <laughs> and Dave is the fairest of all. I'm going to let you square those cards up. Push Let's do it, David. Now, you got to confess, that's about as fair as it can get. Ought to be random at that point. Let's give it a little test just to see how random we got it. Let's spell the word A-C-E-O. Oh, I like this. D-I-A-M-O-N-D. Yes. Well, that was pretty lucky, wasn't it? Let's try it one Ace more. Ace of Diamonds. A C E O F S P A D E S. Ace of Spades. That was pretty random, wasn't it? One <laughs> couple more to go. Ace. I'm telling you, my heart is singing with joy right now. It's a musical, baby. <laughs> o F H E A R T 
Yes, that's the Yes. I feel like David right now. C E O F C L U B S. That's the Ace of Clubs. That turns out BS. to be a pretty random set, doesn't it? You know? Well, actually, we do have a few more cards left. Let's just see how lucky we can get. Let's spell C L U B S, and we get a totally random King of Clubs. If we spell H E A R T S, we get a totally random. King of Hearts, and if we spell what? P A D E. Uh, all right, Brian. I'll catch you later, man. Thank you so much for being here. Or King of Spades, and if we spell D I A M O N D S, we get a totally random King of. Dude, that was good. That's good. But there's more. Oh. Now, Jump in on it, guys. <laughs> You got to figure there's nothing more random than these cards, which we've all shuffled, we've all cut, we've all counted, we've all spelled. I'm almost afraid to look Where'd you get myself, that card from? But we got to do it just to see what's what. And you'll notice that over <gasps> here we have each and every one of the clubs. Over here we have each and every one of the hearts. Over here we have each and every one of the What? Over here we have each and every... I'm telling you, dude, I haven't seen this in a minute, but that is fancy. The diamonds, and that's as random as you can get. Isn't that amazing? Wow. 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 You know what? I got to say, though. What I, I got to say this right now. Um, That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I want to go over more of this. We're going to have to catch this on the next stream because I got some chores I got to take care of. But that was really awesome. Uh, Michael Amar uh, is, is a, a really... Don't you hate it when you drop your cards? Michael Omar is such a fascinating person to watch perform. Um, I mean, he's not the greatest, I, in my opinion. I, I know of other people that are a lot better, and they, they're more entertaining. But, I mean, he's doing simple, subtle moves. And how, I mean, even though he didn't do that, that wasn't his trick. Hold on, let me see. Nope, that's the wrong case. Oh, there it is. JC Super Closer. That's called JC Wagner. Uh, I mean, the guy's name is JC Wagner. JC's Super Closer. That is an awesome thing to do. Um, maybe on the next video, I'll uh, show you guys how it's done or teach you guys. You know what? I think this is a little too bright. Oh, better. Oh, damn, that's sexy. Oh, that, that hides in my bag. I go shopping with these things, dude. Look at that. That comes with old age. You know, when you get as old as I do, damn. Uh, well, I want to thank every single one of you guys for being here with me on this live stream. This was actually a lot of fun. Brian, thank you so much for showing up. Uh, uh, D David Sublime. I'm going to call you David Sublime because I can't read Korean. But, uh, I'm Nigao Sale. Uh, and come on for being here. Uh, I knew I know some words because we had a, a, a lady uh, that used to work at our shop. And she spoke Korean and she taught me how to still do things. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's going to be the end of the live. And uh, I wanted to finish off. I did. There's going to be a part three to Michael Amar's DVD. To v I mean, VHS to DVD uh, to live stream. Join me on the next one. This coming Friday, I'm going to try to see. Hopefully the package shows up that I got from Penguin Magic. There's a post on Instagram. Uh, I forgot to put a vote. Okay, Junu. Come on for being here, brother. Uh, but uh, join me on Friday as I go over uh, one of the live lectures. What we really want to watch is Chris Chris Mayhew's uh, live lecture on the the linking safety pins, I think it was called. Brian brought it to my attention. We're going to check it out. Uh, I might not show the tutorial on it, and I might. I'm also going to go over some Instagram pages uh, and uh, products from Murphy's, Illusionist, uh, wherever. I'm going to go over uh, whatever. If you have any suggestions, find me on Instagram and link them, uh, uh, DM me on Instagram and I'll go and I'll check them out for you. If you have an Instagram page you want me to check out, go ahead, send it to me uh, or, or uh, follow me and I'll go over it on, uh, on Friday night. And um, I think that's it. I actually have a doctor's appointment I got to go to. Oh, no, 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 no. I got two more hours, but I got to go to my, do, do my chores. And uh, until next time, how do you do this? No, that's the wrong one.
Uh oh. Is it this one? I think it's on this one. Oh yeah, there it is. See ya.